Now there's been one juicy news story I've been watching implosion after implosion just keep building on itself every day. The FTX exchange collapse. So here's my challenge for myself. I'm going to summarize this issue for you guys without saying blockchain, DeFi, or any of those other buzzwords that make everyone's eyes glaze over. At the end of the day, this is essentially a banking issue with a new paint job on it. Now if you ask anyone deep into crypto, the banking system is inherently corrupt. So they created an alternative to banks, an unregulated alternative. I think you can see where this is going. Now you can either keep your coins in a digital wallet, or you can store them in these definitely not bank exchanges, where they'll take your tokens, pay you interest for depositing those tokens or staking them, and then lend them out to other people or invest them to raise money to pay you interest. Totally not a bank, for regulatory purposes at least. You can trust me because Thoreau, well that's my middle name. Although, bank man is his. In this case, a bunch of people deposited their tokens in this, for regulatory purposes, definitely not a bank, FTX exchange, and then proceeded to just rake in super high interest rates on those deposits. Thing is, a bunch of people assume that this was like a bank, but with a crypto paint skin over it. Those people just learned a hard lesson in the past 100 plus years of banking regulations that don't extend to these crypto institutions. Glass-Steagall says you can't use depositors money on speculative investments? Ha! Well this ain't your parents financial institution. We're gonna give depositors money to our investment arm, Alameda Research, to play in the markets. Oh, 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 the Federal Reserve Act puts reserve requirements on financial institutions so they have to hurl a little bit of cash, meaning that if you want to cash out, you can immediately get access to your funds. <laughs> well, over here at FTX Exchange, no reservations required. We're going all in with depositors' money. Don't worry, though. Those investments, if they fail, we got the FDIC to guarantee the depositors' money. Oh, wait, oh, wait, that only applies to bank banks? Yikes! Now, for a while, things are going great because all the arrows were pointing up. Nobody's taking out their money. Our investments are exploding in value and everything's just turning out great. Turns out this banking stuff, pretty easy. Whoa, wait, red? Wow, that's a lot of red. People want to withdraw their money all of a sudden with the interest that we said we'd be paying them on top of that? Well, I can move around a few things to cover those withdrawals. Oh, wait, one of our largest investors has announced that they're cashing out of our business? Whoo! Whoo! If this gets out, a bunch of people are going to withdraw their deposits in a bank run. And it got out. Bank run time. Oh god, everyone wants to take their coins out of our exchange and put them into their wallets. Uh, uh, um, hey, hey, hey guys, we can't give you those coins right now because they're tied up in all our investments. Just give us a little time to unwind our holdings into cash and trust us, we're going to pay you all back. We're not insolvent. Now unfortunately, they have now filed for bankruptcy and we can see that the combination of all the assets they have and all the cash they have on hand aren't enough to pay back depositors funds. And to add insult to injury, well after they filed for bankruptcy, someone used the back door to take the remaining assets that FTX exchange had retained possession of and transfer them into an anonymous wallet. <sighs> Not sure who did that, and because there's no physical inventory or actual cash, it's all irreversible on public ledgers. So that money's all gone now. This means that bankruptcy courts won't be able to liquidate the remaining assets of this bank's holdings to pay back depositors at least some of their deposits. Now for this last part, interestingly enough, as far as crimes committed go, things are a bit hazy. When there are no rules, it's hard to break them. Now the best argument for some sort of crime is the fact that FTX exchange themselves promised depositors that their money wouldn't be used in speculative investments. 
not a regulation so much as party A breaking a commitment to party B. Now the founder in this case is defending himself by arguing, what? I had no idea how we were making money. It just sort of showed up and then I gave it at its interest payments to depositors. Now, this argument would be a lot funnier if I hadn't spent the last few years breaking down Trump similarly, but I don't know what's going on at legal defenses. Now, there's also a legal problem for the hacker who stole a bunch of assets from the company after they filed for bankruptcy, but as of now, we don't know who that bank robber is. So there you go. FTX exchanges collapse without mentioning blockchains, DeFi, or any of the other terms that unnecessarily complicate this pretty simple situation that's essentially a bank imploding with no safety nets in place. Now it looks like this might be a part of a larger picture because, well, a bunch of similar not a bank banks were making huge loans to FTX exchange and are now looking down the barrel of their own pretty hefty losses. So maybe more to come. Now before we get into the outro, I'd like to apologize for not posting videos at my normal rate. A few longtime viewers may know that my day job is actually working for a toy company. So when the Christmas decorations start going up, those short days start to get a lot longer for me. Back off to him, Alan. I'm the real Santa Claus here, and I have to make toys for all the boys and girls in the world. Until next time, thank you, and that's all I have to say about that. Hello, YouTube. I'd like to thank my patrons over here for helping me put out my videos. And if you want to support independent, nonpartisan news looking into the overlooked, join this growing list of exceptional individuals by clicking on that link in the description. Also remember to ring that bell so that freedom will continue to ring, subscribe, and just sort of like it if you like what you saw. Lastly, as always, thank you for watching.